Hello, this is Coach George, and today we're going to review your weekly meal planner and food log submission for the 2012 Look Good Feel Good Challenge. So, first, uh, you should have received a, an email with the document attached. If you haven't, then you can contact one of the coaches, and we'll make sure that you get a copy. And it is an Excel spreadsheet, so if you don't have Excel on your computer, that would probably be a problem, and we'll have to figure out some sort of workaround. But pulling up the document, this is what it looks like. The uh, Nutrition Coaching Program Meal Planner. Uh, this is what all the, the folks in the Nutrition Coaching Program use every Friday night to kind of plan their, meal, their meals out in advance. And then everyone else in the challenge is going to be submitting the same document for credit for their point uh, every week on submitting a food log. So let's talk about um, when these are going to be submitted. Right now, we're going to start these guys on Sunday running through to Saturday. And every week uh, will look a lot like this. So this week, Sunday was January 22nd. Uh, so I put that in here. 1-22-2012 is when it started. And it would work its way all the way through to the end of the week, uh, ending here on Saturday. If I wanted to, uh, to do next week instead, then all I have to do is modify this date. And bam, the dates change up here. But I want to stick with this week. So what you'll do is you'll fill this out as you go throughout the course of the week and then submit it by close of business or whenever you can submit it on Saturday. Bear in mind, whatever you submit it on Saturday, that'll be the last meal that we see. So you don't have to wait for Saturday night so that we can see dinner. Um, if we miss that, that's fine. We'll get the 95% you know, solution. And you are submitting this for honesty and accuracy. So don't hold any punches. Um, tell us what you ate. And uh, really, this, this will be a good exercise for you to see what you're eating. And, and knowing that somebody else is, is going to be reading this might actually deter you from eating something that you don't want to. All right. So submission timeline. We're going to be covering every week from Sunday through Saturday. You'll email it on Saturday, and I'll cover the, the specifics on emailing it out again. All right. So how to use this document. Right? This is a planning tool, and we're using it as a tracking tool. All right. What I recommend is that everyone sit down uh, either on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday when they know they'll have the opportunity to go out and buy groceries and, and sit down before they go grocery shopping to get an idea of what their week should look like. Right. For the nutrition coaching program, guys, we, we talk about strategies for filling this out uh, on how to make breakfast work for you, on what to do with your lunch and dinners and how to get some sort of food rotation in there. And um, it, it it's something that you have to play with and, and and figure out what's going to work with your lifestyle. But let's, uh, let's kind of go through the idea. So I'm going to plan out a, uh, a Sunday and Monday just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, and, and, and we'll go from there. So if I'm doing breakfast on, on Sunday morning, you know, odds are this is something that I have probably a little more time with and, and freedom. Uh, I can sit at home a little bit longer and put more time into it. So uh, I'll just go ahead and say that I'll, I'll probably do... Um, Six poached eggs, because that's how I, I roll. Uh, I'll get in uh, two to three slices of bacon. I'll do a bowl of blueberries, although they're not really in season right now, so I don't dig on them. Something about the Chilean berries, just uh, I don't appreciate, but raspberries are in season, so. Okay, raspberries. All right. Check, and then uh, we might have some grilled tomatoes with that too. All right, so that's my breakfast. Lunch, because it's Sunday and we live in Hillcrest, I usually go to the farmer's market. So farmer's market, a taste of East Africa. They've got some pretty good collard greens that you can uh, have instead of the rice and get a kebab. So I, I know I can load up on my green veggies. I could also buy some fruit while I'm there or get like a greens fixed juice. So I'm all set. All right. And then dinner. This is a, uh, you know, again, a, a big night. So I, I can probably prep a, a pretty big dinner and enjoy it. So let's see. We, we've got time. So I'll do a grilled... Uh, Grilled steak, maybe like a Mexican style. So season that with cumin, paprika, whatever the case may be. And then I'll do 
grilled peppers and onions. And then I'll actually probably do sliced eggplant on the grill. And some sort of salad. So maybe like a chard and kale salad with olive oil dressing. All right. And that's, uh, that's my Sunday dinner. Um, as far as changing the, the size of these cells, you can't really do it. So um, when you submit it in, you can type as much as you want in there, but uh, we won't necessarily be able to see it until we go into that cell and, uh, and double click it. All right. For snacks, you guys can put in uh, whatever snacks that you end up eating. You might want to plan your snacks out in advance. That would definitely be helpful and, and help keep you on the right track, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. I don't want to give away too much uh, and keep you out of the nutrition coaching program. Um, get you in there and, and learn about uh, planning out good snacks in advance. But one strategy I will share with you is that I've got this great dinner. If I'm smart, I can cook up enough of this so that I can take this same dinner, copy it, and this becomes my lunch the next day. So I'm a big fan of making enough so that I have leftovers for the next day to cover me for lunch. Now I'm back on or I'm on breakfast on Monday. This is one that uh, I probably don't have all that much time to prepare because I'm coaching the 6 a.m. session, so I'll probably have to wake up around 4.30 to heat up whatever breakfast that I have because I don't own a microwave because I'm weird like that, but that's okay. Uh, it serves us well. And uh, so what I want to do is I'll probably want to prep this on Sunday, and what we uh, like to start off the week with is usually a frittata of some sort. And uh, that'll be 10 to 12 eggs. We'll put in some sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, broccolis, hopefully I spelled that right, and uh, maybe some olives. So that's not all uh, one serving, 10 to 12 eggs. It's just how much is in the frittata. And then because uh, we're usually pretty good about portioning that out, that ends up becoming breakfast for two days. And then dinner, I can go through some sort of a recipe book, find something that I really like. Let's see. I'll open up something here. What do I want? I want some sort of seafood. So I'll jump to page 58. Fish with garlic, basil, mayonnaise. That sounds awesome. All right. So I'll just put that in there. Actually, it sounds kind of gross. I don't really like mayonnaise, but you get the point. Copy and paste. Bam! That was very helpful. All right. And now, because I make enough for, uh, for lunch the next day, cut and paste, and there I go. So this is how you can, you can use this document and modify it. Um, the, the thing to keep in mind is we just did a meal planning session these past couple of minutes. You're actually going to want to uh, go back through and fill in what you ate for that week and submit it. Now, I, I will tell you this. Uh, there, there have been a few questions on what passes a sniff test. What I filled in so far, that would work. If you were to put in something like this, chicken, carrots, broccoli, all right, I'm not digging on that, okay? If you, uh, if you put in fruit and don't even tell me what kind of fruit or how much you ate, that, that, that's kind of hard for us to swallow as saying you're, you're putting in your time and effort to fill out this food log. So if you want to earn that point, I, I do want you to be as specific as possible uh, without actually weighing and measuring everything. So uh, we can get an idea of portion sizes you know, from here um, and, and, and work with this. So, uh, this is, you know, filling out a portion of this week. The cool thing about the Excel document is that what we can do is we can take this same tab, copy it, create a copy, move it to the end of the document, and now I've got this whole other week that I can fill in, and from here, I can change and modify my date, 129, and I've got a whole other week to work with. 
So what I can do is I can keep multiple weeks going on the bottom here and just keep building off of it. So if I have a meal that I really like that I ate two weeks ago, I just go back, I find it, copy paste, plug it in my meal planner, build my grocery list off of that, and I'm all set. So we'll save this now. Uh, and, and we have to save this so that we're submitting it. How you want to do that is you want to file, save as, and we want to give this document a different name. So we're going to name this George E. And this is my weekly meal planner. And then uh, I'm not really sure where you want to save it. I'll save it in Invictus. And then when you email this out, all right, you're going to send it to Coach at CrossFit Invictus. Dot com. The subject is going to be 2012, look good, feel good, and then we'll call it nutrition blog. All right. Alternatively, if you want to put in weekly meal planner, however the case may be, we just need something in the subject line so that, that it flags us to, to put it in a specific folder. All right. Then you attach your file. Not my tax returns. Okay. I'll put that in there and bam, I'll send that off. All right. I hope that this helped uh, answer a few questions and thank you for sitting through all 10 minutes of this. I uh, wish you all good luck and please hit us up with any questions that you have. Thanks.